going all the way back to 1969, we have DC Showcase number 82 uh, featuring Nightmaster on it right there. We'll flip it over so you can see the back as well. We'll get a couple of shots of that for the catalog. And then I'll show you the condition of the covers. We'll give it the old wiggle jiggle right there so you really see. Not too bad looking. Obviously some issues here along the spine. Right there. A few up there, but cover's looking pretty good. Nothing a good pressing wouldn't uh, take care of there on the front. And then on the back we see not too bad there either. All around looking pretty good. We'll let that light shine off it. We'll give you a couple ideas of the interior pages. Just a quick couple of looks at some of the interior so you can get an idea of quality and condition as we move on to Mr. Miracle right here, number 13. This is from April of 1973. We'll flip it over on the back so you can see that as well. And let's show you. We got some issues here. We got some issues there along the thing. Some creasing, some pull right there. So uh, this cover has seen better days. But the artwork still holds up nice. Mr. Miracle getting ready to escape there. Will he do it? Who knows? If anybody can, it's him. And then we'll show you right along here. We got a couple of quick photos of the quality and condition of the pages. We're moving on to some Black Hawk right here. This is Black Hawk number 149 going back to 1960. So 62-year-old comic. Let's flip it over on the back. Ooh, I want to point this out. So somebody's doing some, some taxes <laughs> on here. Uh drawn some stuff i think that was already on there the mickey mantle and joe lewis and then uh, a little writing on the back cover other issues on that back cover as well front cover is not without its issues some paper loss on the bottom a little bit on the toss some splitting so this one's seen better days but let's take a look at the inside see uh, yeah it appears to be a pretty good nice readable copy so if you're just looking to fill some holes in that collection uh this might be the way to do it that cover is, is is barely on there, but it's it's on there. Um, the staples are present. We'll move on to some Hawk and Dove. Long before Liefeld got hold of it, you got this one. This is number 15 from 1969. Again, going back about 53 years now. These dark covers really let you see any of the, the nooks and crannies, any kind of damage issues, anything like that. So that's good. We get to see a little bit of creasing right here. I don't see much, if any, paper loss, but a little creasing. Nothing a, a good uh, pressing, I don't think, would, would do well. Some Gil Kane art on this one. And we'll show you a couple of uh, interior pages, just so you get quality and condition idea of those. Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen. This is number 111 from 1968 versus Elastalad and <laughs> the Ugly Superman. We'll flip it over on the back. And this is not a bad issue at all. Uh, still, I don't know if it's one that you'd send in to get graded. It's got some, some significant flaws, including that might have been some, some liquid dropped on it right there. I want to show you that if we can. Might have been a little bit of liquid. I'm not sure. Uh... The rest looking pretty fun. Not too, too bad a, a copy given its age. Yep, see, it might have come through. Let's check out the interior, see if that goes all the way through. Yeah, I think, I think young Johnny might have spilled his milk on that back in 19 who knows what. Well, there it is, <laughs> 1968. So also some writing there. Answered a question that we had, but also is some writing. So be aware of it. Um, Still a nice readable copy for somebody looking to complete a hole in their collection. That's a really nice way to do it. Moving on to Detective Comics number 375. We're in 1968. This is a 12 center. Flip it over on the back so you can see that UFO right there. Pretty cool stuff from Aurora model kit. Long gone and sadly missed, but uh, these things are still out there. It looks like it was pressed up against another comic and might have gotten some of the ink from that comic. That's easily cleaned with some uh, uh, museum gum, but 
I want you to be aware of it. Looking pretty good right there. See a little bit of the issues along the spine, but all around not too bad. Certainly a great reader copy to put in that collection, fill those holes. Look at that artwork, really, really nice. Some of that old school, and again, up 1968. So probably the same consigner at one point, same original owner before it got to our consigner. Um, that's a shame if that kind of thing bothers you, or you might see it as something really awesome if you think of that as the provenance like I do. Doctor Strange, I'm sorry, not Doctor Strange, Strange Adventures featuring Dead Man. Right here, there's number 209 from 1968. Flip it over on the back, you can see uh, Get Smart with his shoe. Let's uh, see some of this. You got a little bit of, is that wear there? Yeah, I think there might be a little, I, I can't tell if that's the art or some ink loss on there. So we'll let the light shine on it. You can, of course, go back and look at it for yourself. I, I prefer you use your opinion as to ours, but I will give ours where we can. A little bit of issues right here and there. Not a bad one, all told, other than that staple issue. And then we're back to Maxwell Smart right here. And his shoe phone. As we move right along to show you a couple of the pages of the interiors. No 1968 here, so... We lucked out on that one. Now Adam, this is number 11, going all the way back to 1964. We'll flip it over on the back, the smallest superhero. And we will show you, so big crease, color breaking down the front. That's a shame on something like this, but if you're just looking for a reader, this is a nice way to do it. Uh, that can be overlooked. It can still be pressed, but I think it breaks color. You can see it all the way here. And what would have happened back in the day is young Johnny would fold this up, put it in his back pocket, and head on out to the playground. Tell you what, I can't blame him. That's a fun way to do it. Um, comic books were exactly what they were supposed to be back then. Something fun to enjoy. Uh, they weren't to be collected, and certainly he did enjoy that. Adventure Comics, number 372 right here. Superboy's Crack Up. So this is a, a first appearance, but a minor one. It's the first appearance of the Legion of uh, Super Villains in their teen form, so take for that what you will. Now, if you're a fan of such things, then you're definitely going to want this in just about any condition. But it's not a major key. It's a, a minor key. And that is going to do it for... Adventure Comics.